I read my girlfriend's journal and I can't look at her the same way anymore. Posted by Confused Guy 3 Throw away account because my friends know my main account and I don't want them to see this post and possibly tell my girlfriend about it. I messed up. I did something I shouldn't have. I read my girlfriend's journal. I know it was a breach of trust and I regret it immensely. But what I found has left me completely lost. We have been together for three years and things were great until recently. She's been distant, avoiding hugs, kisses, and even hanging out. I noticed she's been pouring herself into her journal, so out of concern, I made the mistake of reading it. Her entries revealed her deep unhappiness in our relationship, things I had no idea about. But the biggest shocker was her expression of wanting to be with women. I've always believed she was straight and this revelation has left me feeling lost and unsure of what to do. I feel terrible for invading her privacy, but I also feel blindsided by this unexpected revelation about her ex all orientation and her dissatisfaction with our relationship. I love her, but I don't know how to confront her about what I've discovered without betraying her trust further. I am stuck between wanting to talk to her and respecting her privacy and her journey with her sexuality. I am torn between guilt, confusion, and a desire to make things right. Any advice or thoughts would be immensely appreciated. To your listener, if you want more of this content, please consider subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. Thank you for your consideration. Do you think it was wrong for the person to read their girlfriend's journal without her permission? Why or why not? How do you think the person should approach their girlfriend about what they found in her journal? Here is my AI opinion. First of all, let me say that reading your girlfriend's journal was a huge mistake, and it's understandable that you feel guilty and lost about what you found out. It's important to respect her privacy and boundaries, especially when it comes to something as personal as her ex-will orientation and feelings about your relationship. It's understandable that you were concerned about your girlfriend's distance and lack of affection, but reading her journal was not the solution. Instead of trying to fix the situation by invading her privacy, you should have talked to her directly and openly about how you felt. This would have allowed her to share her feelings and thoughts with you in a safe and respectful way. Now that you know about her ex well orientation and her dissatisfaction with your relationship, it's important to approach the situation with sensitivity and understanding. It's important to remember that everyone has the right to their own ex well orientation and preferences, and it's not up to you to judge or try to change her. Instead, you should focus on being a supportive and understanding partner. It's also important to respect your girlfriend's boundaries and give her space if she needs it. It's possible that she may not be ready to talk about these issues with you yet, and that's okay. Just let her know that you are there for her when she is ready to talk. In terms of what you should do next, I would suggest taking some time to reflect on your own feelings and boundaries. It's important to be honest with yourself about what you want and need in a relationship and to communicate those needs with your girlfriend in a respectful and open way. It may also be helpful to seek out the advice of a trusted friend or therapist who can provide you with support and guidance as you navigate this situation. Overall, it's important to remember that relationships are about mutual respect, trust, and understanding. If you want to move forward with your girlfriend, it's important to approach the situation with sensitivity, respect, and an open mind. Hedgehoggy55 likes to add a Have you even asked her why she is behaving like this? Why would you go with the option of reading her diary instead of talking about it? A comment from Martless. If this is actually true and not a creative writing assignment, you don't have to confront her about the journal, just end the relationship and you can both move on. OP replied. Well that's the thing, I don't know how to end the relationship. Wouldn't it be weird to just say hey, I am breaking up with you out of the blue? Beware of people whose exes disappear without a trace. Posted by an on 63 trillion, 632 billion, 17 million, 202,101. Truthfully, this is a pastime thought. But given the amount of heartbreaking posts over this holiday season, Especially in the last 24 hours, I'd like to leave my thoughts on something I feel I may potentially be experiencing too. My partner once told me a story about how his ex simply picked up and left. Locked him out of the house, blocked him, never spoke to him again, and how badly it hurt him. I used to often think it was so unfair and it made me mad that someone could treat him so harshly. But truthfully, after how he has treated me, the thought has crossed my mind more than once. Because every time I try to leave, he just gets a blive. 
The most pain-free option would be to leave in the middle of a workday with no trace. It would be peaceful. But it hurts me so dearly to know I could be hurting him again. Hearing someone else's side, or a few people rather. Honestly I think I'm questioning what he must have done, or how he must have treated her in order for her to have left a 2.5 year relationship in the middle of the night without a word. We are always so quick to take our partner's side. But maybe next time someone you are seeing says that. Think twice. Have you ever been in a situation where you had to leave a relationship abruptly? If so, how did you handle it? How do you think your partner would react if you suddenly left them without a word? It sounds like your partner may have been emotionally obliged towards his ex, and it's important to consider the possibility that he may be treating you similarly. Nausicaa Lotus commented. Like when they say my ex was crazy. Unless you know the ex or see the evidence, they might not be the crazy one. A comment from neither, complaint 865. My niece's ex told her about how his ex moved out when he was away and how much it hurt him too. And consequently, she had to do the same thing. She packed a few boxes and moved them to my house while he was out of town one day. He was extremely abuave and he stalked and tormented her for a long time after she left that day. He also never gave her a single thing from the home after that day. She asked multiple times, even through lawyers and the judge. He just stalled and then finally told her he threw it all in a dumpster. Some people are just not mentally equipped to handle someone deciding they do not want to be with them anymore. And I am pretty sure there are statistics that show that the most dangerous time for someone in an abuive relationship is when you are planning to leave. Be safe, OP, please be safe. Boyfriend did not get me anything for Christmas and I feel hurt. Posted by Dismal Rain, 7482. We have been together almost two years now. I enjoy putting a lot of thought and sentiment into what I give him. Today, I let him know I was heading out early to pick up his Christmas gift. I made a three-hour drive to go get it and ended up spending most of the day in the city also looking for a gift for his sister and nephew by his request. He got off work early and let me know he was going out to pick up something at the hardware store. Personally have not been in the best Christmas spirit this year, been a little depressed, but I was thrilled about how happy he would be with what I got him, so excited to give him his gifts I could barely wait. I was asking when he wants to open his present and looking for tape for the wrapping paper, and he says sorry I didn't get you anything. I was a little taken aback. He went on to say that when he went out earlier, he didn't get the chance to go to another store. While I was running around to different stores looking for a gift for his nephew, he was at the furniture store browsing sofas for the addition they are building on his house. He also said I've been getting out of work late. But we live together and he gets home before I am even done work. He's also been drinking every evening this week to pregame for his family's Christmas party, so it wasn't like there wasn't free time to stop by the store. I thought maybe he was kidding so I playfully asked if it was true he didn't get me anything. In an irritated tone he just said, I don't have anything for you, and as I was playing around, he said, don't keep asking me, I don't want to get mad. I went from a little shocked and disappointed to devastated. I still want to give him his gift because I care about him. Inside, I definitely feel hurt. I am not into material things, but it's Christmas and it's the sentiment that counts. I don't even know what to say to him to convey how I feel. How would you handle this situation? What do you think is going on with your partner? It seems like your partner didn't prioritize you or your feelings during this holiday season, and it's understandable that you feel hurt and disappointed. A comment from Bookstacks. Take his present back and use the money on yourself. The gift he has given you, however, is insight to how a future relationship would be with him. He values hardware, sofas, and drinking more than you. Take that as a valuable lesson and decide if that is the relationship you deserve. I don't think it is. A comment from Majestic Leopard 563. Jeez, do not give him the gift. He couldn't find 10 minutes to order you something online. Why are you with him? That is all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and hopefully I see you soon.